Oh boy, oh boy. My contribution to the dogpiling of the Concord demise. Lovely. Let's see it. Hey everyone, this is Critical Art 64 and today I'm going to redesign some characters. What a video intro. From the mega flop wow. Concord. A game with character design so dull and unappealing that the game died within a week. This game seems to have followed the Cartman mm -hmm. school of design. Put a ticket in, make a name and gang! <laughs> and I think I could do a better job. So uh, what I'll do is break down the designs a little Weird bit, explain version. my concept sketches, and show what a render of my... <laughs> Added with vitamin B12? Oh god. My design it would look like in 3D animation. Yeah. I decided to start off with the three most visible characters, Baz, Amari, and Daw. Okay. Uh, looks like I have my work cut out for me. Um, this cast looks like a bad Guardians of the Galaxy cosplay. Uh, like Jesus. they're in a movie called Monitors of the Solar System. Well, first up is Baz. That's right. Who sort of looks like if Thugnificent from the Boondocks had an ant who hunts blackulas. Or if Whoopi Goldberg played Morpheus in The Matrix. Jesus. If you think she looks kind of mannish, uh, that is not a mistake. Mm -hmm. It is because she's, in fact, based on a transvestite singer. Mm -hmm. You can go ahead and look that up. Um, you know, and, and her weapon is knives. So she, she throws knives and does, like, flippy doos. Okay. Uh, nothing about her design suggests that. Oh, shit. That uh, it's very bulky. Uh, she's wearing shoes that look like boots designed to play basketball in. You know, I never really looked at the characters. I, I like I never really started actually investigating every piece of clothes. That, yeah, this is ridiculous. It is. It's absolutely ridiculous. Not very good for running. And, you know, the, the small glasses and, and the big hair are very unflattering to the face. Here's my concept sketch. Okay. Now, this is actually. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Yep. I like this one. This is this is great. All right. Okay, now we're getting into it. Don't understand how this isn't a mockery to even the communities to try and stand up for. I don't even know. I mean, I, 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 who knows? Probably one of the better designs of Concord. So I kept most of the ideas. Uh, first, I cropped her coat. I cropped her coat because she has mm -hmm. such big shoulder pads. And yeah. when you exaggerate something, you kind of want to take away from somewhere else to create a sense of balance. That makes sense. And it also makes her look less cumbersome, and I made her shoes yeah. more like running shoes to show that she is a much more agile character and that she would use blades. And uh, I would have it to where, like, her gloves can, like, charge the blades with, like, kinetic energy so she could just shoot them like ballistic yeah, knives. Yeah, sure. That, that sounds you know, cool. I, I feminized the face and made her mm -hmm. design more sleek uh, to make it more obvious that she's an acrobatic knife thrower. Yeah. I imagine her being, like, a sassy bounty hunter... Here's the before and after. I don't know it's about you good. guys. I know which one I would pick. So that's yeah. I mean, I, I I don't know how a lot of these designs got approved. Uh, I, it will forever be a mystery how this happened. One down. Uh, next up is Amari, and uh, she sort of looks, she sort of looks like if the guy who made Hamilton uh, made a stage play about the Ninja Turtles, uh, and Who's casted um, uh, Lizzo. Um, or if the juggernaut is the red M&M, she is the green one. And oh my god, that is so good. I gotta hear that again. Or if the juggernaut is the red M&M, she is uh -huh. the green one. And uh, with her voice, some wow. have called her uh, Fat Alberta. Okay. I got you. Hey, 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 it's Fat Albert. Uh. Here's my concept. I call her Captain Amari. I love how he just totally changed it. And she doesn't look anything like the way she looked before. And she's actually just hot and skinny. <laughs> just totally fucking like, nope. Yeah, but but she's going to have a lot of armor, but that's it. Oh Great. my god. Because the name Amari is uh, too soft and forgettable for a tank yeah. so the word captain has some good consonants in it it kind of helps make it sound a little more punchy uh i imagine her being yeah. like a seven foot tall super soldier from i like Africa. the sound of that sounds kind of like yeah. if there was like a, a new carthage empire and she's like okay. a peacekeeper um nice kind of what a render would look like right uh, i do like 
the juxtaposition of battle yep. armor and makeup. So to show her femininity, Absolutely. I kept the lipstick, but yep. I changed the shade. Great idea. And uh, something a little less ridiculous. And I gave uh -huh. her a, like a lacy bra. So you see really the juxtaposition good idea. there. Very, um, very. Here's the before and after. Great, great design decision there. Like uh, amazing, really good attention to detail. Absolutely. Yeah, Sony needs to hire this guy. Hey, maybe Concord 2. Maybe they'll figure it out with Concord 2. He doesn't go with weapons, though? No, clearly. And as you can see, I moved away from the big, mm -hmm. bulky armor and went with more of, like, power enhancement arms and legs. It's for like... the male gaze, yeah. I'm, I'm really sorry to tell you, but... Women don't like playing ugly, fat characters either. Has that, has that ever occurred to you? And also, by the way, making a character attractive because men like attractive characters, what about that is wrong? Like, isn't Leon from Resident Evil really hot? I feel like Dante from Devil May Cry is really hot. What? Why would you want... Yeah, I don't want to play, like, the Resident Evil story as some fat guy with a fedora. No way. And so people love seeing characters that look good and that look attractive. I mean, it's nothing that's crazy or unique to a gender. And I don't think that there's anything wrong with making a character really hot. And, like, the idea is that if the character is made for men to think that it's attractive, it's bad. Like, what? Who the fuck decided that? Maybe her skin's kind of partially bulletproof since she's like an experimental super soldier yeah but uh last but certainly not least is daw he looks like if ned from spider-man went on a ski trip to gay mountain um they gave my guy a, a girl face like they gave him girl face proportions and like the craziest fupa i've ever ah, seen that's crazy like what who who wants to like can you imagine going to comic-con and anime expo and seeing somebody cosplay this character i mean like yeah, let's be honest. It's not going to happen. People don't want to cosplay a character like this. He's he's visually grotesque. Yeah. Um, you know, as a brown guy, this is very upsetting. You know mm -hmm. that we now are in a climate where you know you can't have a prominent <laughs> character that's <laughs> fucking picture. <laughs> Oh, wow. Authentic Poggers. <laughs> Basato? <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys. Latin or black or Asian. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you, you think you're going to get some cool designs, but, you know, they always throw in all this weird shit on top of it. Yeah. And, and, and it's a real bummer. So here's my concept. Well, here's the, the reason why... It's that, have you guys ever noticed that these, in these, like, you know, quote, woke games, a lot of the character abilities and character design is built off of stereotypes for that group? Have you guys ever noticed that? It, it's, and, and I don't think people really talk about it. It's kind of racist. It is. Yes. <laughs> Except, uh, first yeah, the name is Daw awesome. is just so boring and forgettable, yeah. so mine is named, like, Mr. D, yeah. which sounds kind of like a Cholo name. Like, mm -hmm. he'd be all, hey, check that out, my name is Mr. D, fool. You know, something like that. Uh, you know, maybe he's a little bit chunky, he eats yep. his tortas, he eats his tortillas, you know. Uh -huh. It's kind of a heavy, little bit heavy, not, not super fat or anything. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how you would uh, move around if you're that fat. That, by the way... If you go downtown to Austin, you don't need concept art. You can just go and take a picture of this guy. Yeah, you get these bullets. Yeah, exactly. Like there's so many of this guy, man. Like absolutely. Like we had this guy at high school, bro. It, it, whenever I went to community college, there was like multiple of this guy in one class. Yeah, in a hundred degree weather. Yeah. 
super mm-hmm. fat or anything. I mean, I don't know how you would uh, not with move a machine around gun, if you're that but fat. Everything and else. All you got to do to like not be that fat is yeah. just like not drink don't soda eat, or don't eat food. Eat cupcakes. Stop or eating bread. food. I mean, it's pretty easy. Just stop. But eating you food. know, I imagine this guy. He he kind of looks like he's a big shit talker and and like a maybe yeah. he's like a smuggler. In the original design, he has like a big, weird-looking. Uh, he looks like he gets in fights and loses, and he doesn't care. Thing pack, and like he tells people pizza. he won. So uh, you know? I, I replace it with uh, first aid box Joe G, next yeah. to a big boom box. Maybe he can like play it for psychological warfare. Maybe mm-hmm. he's really good at taunting people. Yep. Or if he can like leave yeah, the boom box somewhere sure. to like trick people into thinking you're in a different spot on the map or something. Yeah. Um, and as you can tell from the before and after, uh, mine is way cooler. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, apps, I mean, I'm gonna be honest. I think this looks way better. I do. It's cooler. Like, I, if, if somebody had this character in a game, a lot of people could dress up like this character, and it would be cool. That's the only thing, man. It would just be fucking cool. It has way more personality and character. Yeah. Did this to demonstrate <clears throat> that you can make cool, diverse characters without making them lame? Or DA. I mean, you could just look at Deadlock, which is another yeah. hero shooter that has a lot of diversity, and those designs are great. I mean, it's kind of crazy to do mediocre designs for a hero shooter. I mean, th- this well, falls. It's not crazy because I think the problem is that people are afraid of criticizing designs like this because they're worried that they could get painted in a way that makes them look like a bad person. So I think that you have a feedback loop of whatever design happens, happens. And so people don't want to criticize it. Deadlock design looks kind of bland and boring. I mean, I don't think that Deadlock is... I, I, I'll i be honest, Overwatch is still number one for the hero shooters. It is. Like Marvel Rivals, Concord, Deadlock, etc. Not as good as Overwatch. Overwatch is so good. The same principles of fighting game. Wait, she's from a game? Characters have to be appealing on first glance. I mean, what kind of people Man. are they hiring to do these designs? I mean, I'm not even a professional artist. I, I work in like finance and yeah. tech. <laughs> but you know, hey, if they if they need someone to consult on uh-huh. you know, whether a game is lame or not, uh, they can reach out to me. Yeah. But you know, I I enjoyed doing this. I it's, intend this to do the whole cast funny. if I get a lot of views. So Smart make sure guy. to like, comment, and subscribe if you would like to see what more of these. Video. And uh, you know, or if you have any suggestions. Hurting farmers, I think this is fucking funny, man. Uh, a lot of these actually are pretty. Uh, like, I'll be honest. Out of all the the redesigns he did, I think this one looked really cool. Like this one, absolutely. Like this dude, a hundred percent sells weed to high schoolers. Like, a hundred fucking percent, bro. Like, yeah, like, with that big jacket, yeah, he'll, like, reach in there. Yeah, there it is, right? Like, yeah, a hundred fucking percent. Yeah, this is great, man. But, uh, hell and smoke. Yeah, exactly, right? And, uh, I, I think this stuff's really funny. And it's crazy to see how, how bad the game was received. It's really funny for me to see it. And how many other people were able to, like, seemingly make a model or, like, a version of it that looks a thousand fucking times better, man. Have you watched AI versus Concord devs? No, I don't need to. I already know what it's going to be. But yeah, uh, I would say almost any model is better than what Concord did. Absolutely, it's light years better. Yeah, it certainly fucking is.